Welcome back to CUTV News Center. I'm Allison Steinheiser with Sports. The Vulcan football team is gearing up for the 2010 season with some new faces. The Vulcans announced they have hired former University of Pittsburgh and Stanford University head coach Walt Harris. Harris, whose role is yet to be determined, will join the rest of the staff under coach John Lockhart for the 2010 season. Besides previously coaching at both Pitt and Stanford, Harris was the head coach at Pacific University from 1989 to 1991. He spent last season as the quarterback's coach at the University of Akron. From the turf to the diamond, the softball team is continuing their success in PSAC play. On Wednesday, the team took on IEP at Lilly Field in a doubleheader. In Game 1, Kristen McKenzie singled in the bottom of the 10th to give the Vulcans a 1-0 win. Lauren Shaheen pitched her fourth complete game shutout of the season. Game 2 was similar as Marie Greco for the Vulcans and Aaron Holloway of the Crimson Hawks faced off in another pitcher's duel. Kyle Yu was once again successful in a 1-0 win. The softball team has been getting many honors this season from the PSAC, and the baseball team is looking to not be outdone. Sophomore outfielder Troy Hanza was selected as the PSAC Hitter of the Week on Monday. In six games this week, Hanza was 9-16 for 16 with an average of 536. Along with nine RBIs and five stolen bases, Hanza had a slugging percentage of 1,000 from the leadoff position. While the softball and baseball teams are challenging themselves against the best players in the PSAC, the men's soccer team is taking on a bigger opponent. On Thursday night, the Vulcans will take on the Pittsburgh Riverhounds of the United Soccer League at Addison Stadium. The game is set to start at 7 p.m. The Vulcans have faced the Riverhounds previously and have been able to give the professionals a close game. The past two exhibition games between the two teams have ended in 1-1 ties. This game gives the Vulcans an opportunity to see what it takes to become professional soccer players and also allows the team to measure itself against a highly skilled opponent. Okay, so Thursday night is obviously also a big night for Melon Arena as it's the last regular season home game for the Penguins. What is your favorite Melon Arena memory? Well, I'd have to say mine is actually going and seeing Disney on Ice every year with my family <laughs> and seeing the Barnum and Bailey Circus growing up. I'm really mm -hmm. going to actually miss that. As well as, you know, seeing the Pens in their hometown, you know, at the, the arena. I mean, it's mm -hmm. just been around for so long. So. Well, mine's probably not of the, the arena itself, but as much as there's a Monster Jam commercial for the guy says, kids' seats are just eight bucks. Mm -hmm. uh, I, and uh, <laughs> I'm going to miss those commercials for the Mellon Arena. I'm definitely going to miss all the Penguins games, and I have to say that my favorite memory would definitely be during Game 3 of the 2008 Finals, whenever Brooks Orpik had four hits in a row against the Detroit Absolutely. Red Wings. Yeah. I was at that game, and it was just an amazing atmosphere. Yeah. All right, well, thanks, Allison. And that's it for CUTV this week. We'll see you next Thursday.